uh, the CO2 uh, does uh, at least three central things related to the cancer. One, it's acting like um, a, a calming agent, uh, the way ATP does to relax uh, muscles that, that aren't stimulated, holding them in a state of readiness to contract. And uh, the, the CO2 is uh, an analog of these pigment molecules that uh, Koch huh. and uh, Moses Gomberg w- were visualizing. So you said CO2 has a structural similarity, because we haven't even talked about the anthocyanins and the flavonoids yet, but is that, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, it, it's an acid, a Lewis acid, mm-hmm. which doesn't involve any protons, but the uh, double-bonded oxygens on the carbon are yeah. the essential feature of, of the uh, free radical oxidative catalysts that uh, Koch was talking about and that St. Georgie worked with for about 40 or 50 years. Uh, and the, uh, this acidic effect uh, modifies the proteins so that they are stabilized, calmed down, uh, kept quiet so hmm. that they uh, aren't forced to uh, shift over to the lactic acid metabolism. And the CO2 also can fill in and correct uh, what's missing in the Krebs cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Uh, it's uh, uh, replenishing uh, the catalytic effect of the fuel that keeps the oxygen process going. And uh, then it, uh, CO2 also uh, directly intervenes in uh, the uh, inhibition of lactic acid production and uh, 